You're watching the Wellness Hour, news that makes you healthier. I'm Randy Alvarez. Today's topic, replacing missing teeth with dental implants. My first guest says nobody should be wearing a loose-fitting denture. No more dentures. And also those people that are headed for dentures with loose teeth, bleeding gums, bad breath. He says that he could end all that that you could have a beautiful smile. With us, we have uh, New Jersey's go-to implant dentist, Dr. Jonathan. Dr. Jonathan, welcome to the program. Hey, thank you, Randy. All right, now, before we get into today's topic, like in your practice, who, for people that don't know your practice, who's the typical patient, and what are the different services you offer? So my typical patient would say is a patient that's been going to the dentist and has had a lot of dentistry done, but they've come to the point where all the dentistry that they've invested in, all the time that they've invested in, just doesn't work. They have broken teeth, they have cavities, they have bleeding gums, bad breath, and they're at the point where they really don't feel great about themselves. And we wanna try and help them, so they come to us because they know that we're the people that can finally help them and give them a solution where they don't have to worry about anything ever again. Now you have a concept where, where you're able to give people teeth in one day. Is that a bit of an overstatement? I mean, somebody could walk in with no teeth and in the same day, they could have walk out with teeth. Yeah, um, you know, we, we created these workflows and we've created these techniques where we have the ability to take a patient from a patient not only just without teeth, but a patient who doesn't feel great about themselves, a patient who doesn't even know how to smile. We have within, I would say, maybe two hours, we have the ability to take, their, take this patient and change them completely, give them brand new, beautiful teeth, and all of a sudden they have, it's like they go, I feel so amazing because they don't have to worry about it anymore. Okay, now at the top of the show, we said nobody, no more dentures. You believe that? Like nobody should be wearing a loose fitting denture? Yeah, you know, the way that I look at a denture is a denture was invented hundreds and hundreds of years ago and people had different expectations. Today people want to live. They want to smile. They want to feel good about themselves. They want to go out with their friends. And a denture is just something that was invented 300 years ago. We don't go around in a horse and buggy anymore. We have cars. Okay. Right? So all of a sudden now, I want to be able to eat the amazing food. And I can't do that with dentures. The best denture in the world will only give you 25% of a bite that somebody else will have. So imagine that. And that's the best denture so what, in the world. So they're just kind of like rubbing their yeah, they're, food together? They're basically, they look, they're like, they, they are holding back what they really want to feel. Not only the way they smile, but the way that they chew. They're just holding them together. And they don't have the ability to do what they really want. So they don't feel good about themselves. Now, where you are in, in, in New Jersey, are there a lot of people that are like literally headed to dentures and a lot of denturers? Yeah, so we have a MetLife Stadium. If you would have to look at MetLife Stadium, I could probably fill it three times. Is that so, right? Yeah, I could fill it three times. And then I would tell you that there's a statistic by the year 2020, 61 million people will need to have uh, implant dentistry. They're going to be denturers. If it's so good, if dental implants are so good, right, for replacing missing teeth, why is everybody doing it? Like, what's your take? So, like, especially denture wearers. Yeah, so typical, so think of a denture wearer. A denture wearer, um, they have their dentures. They don't go to the dentist. They use right. their glue. And till maybe seven, eight, nine years, they have a, a sore spot. They go, to the, they go to their dentist. Their dentist does a quick clear line and sends them home. Nobody ever tells them. Nobody ever says to them, hey, you know, sticking glue in your denture every day is not the only option. We can now make you better than where you started. That's one thing. The second thing is for denture wearers, they've gone to the dentist before they wore a denture. And for them, they've always been going to the dentist, getting cavities filled, getting root canals filled, getting all this dentistry that people don't want to have done. And then finally, when they got their denture, it was like a relief, or so they thought. And they've just accepted the fact that this is the way I'm going to be. And they're afraid to get into something new, but they don't realize that dental implants, we've perfected it so well that it's easier than getting a tooth pulled. How it's old e can you be to get this done? Let me tell you something. There's no age limit. If you have the ability to get up, get in your car, and drive to my office, you're a candidate. Is that right? Yeah, because you know people shouldn't think, well, I'm X amount old. Think of it this way. If you say you're only going to live five more years, you want those five years to be the best five years of your life eat what you want, smile with your friends, travel where you want to go, do everything that, is, that your teeth or your dentures are holding you back from doing. When you look at a menu, order what you love, not order what your dentures can chew. And, and we were talking in, my, in, in the green room and you were saying, it's hard to reach these denture wearers because they've adapted, because they don't go to the dentist anymore. Yeah. So what do you say to the denture wearer that says, well, my denture's fine? You don't know the other side. You don't know what you don't know. You... Um, 
we can help you. We can make it easy for you. We can literally change the way that you act every single day. This is something that you deserve for yourself. Don't accept your status quo of my 25% of chewing ability. Don't accept the fact that you could only two, order two out of the 30 things on the menu. Don't accept the fact that sometimes you can't go out with your friends because you're afraid that your denture is going to wear out. Don't accept the fact that maybe when your grandchild is jumping with you, you're afraid that your dentures are going to fall out. Is so this you, what they say? Yeah, it's unbelievable. I, sometimes I have denture wearers that come in. I said, you've been wearing dentures for 30 years. What made you decide to come? My grandchild said to me, you look funny something is wrong or my teeth fell out and we were jumping something was was going on and they just said for myself and for my children i want to do this for me now another thing and, and people need to know i'm not trying to side with you i'm just asking yeah. the questions but I, I guess it is somewhat unique that how it's normally done when you get dental implants you go to one place that does the surgery another dentist that puts the teeth on top and maybe somewhere else for the imaging and then they send it out to some lab right and that's how it's normally is that right how it's normally done yeah uh, and you know what? That that's okay if uh, that's the way that people do but it. But you do it all right there. We do it all right Tell there me about that. because you know there's a saying: you put three dentists in a room, you ask them one question, you get four answers. <laughs> so imagine that you have three or four different dentists working on your case. All of a sudden, nobody knows the brand of the implant. Nobody knows what was done, where it was placed. Patients don't like to go to different offices. It's uncomfortable for them. It's not safe. They don't like sitting in a waiting room. In our practice. There's one doctor, that's me. Okay. There's one person that takes care of you, the assistant, that's me and her. There's uh, a person that customizes your teeth, it's me. The CT scan is done there. So you the, make the teeth even there too? Yeah, so we- Because yeah. you said like you're even hand painting Yeah, so we use digital technology to literally design their teeth on a computer. We then have a machine that can actually cut it. So we have the ability within 24 hours to cut their permanent restoration and they don't have to wait months anymore because we are able to control it all the time and we have their file so we have their teeth forever now because you're doing all the different parts is it less expensive yeah we have the ability to give patients a more options uh, we have the ability to save patients money and we also have the ability to give them beautiful gorgeous teeth exactly the way they way they want it because if they see it and they're like you know what i would love for this tooth to be a little bit rotated well give me one minute i'll go to the lab i'll rotate it for you and then you'll have the smile that you believe is perfect. Do you say, I mean, for some people, it transform their, transforms their life? Yeah, um, you know, it's something that we don't expect to happen, but we see it over and over and over again. Let me give you an example. I had this lady come in. It was the first time she was a little bit older. It was the first time she was getting married. And she came in, in the consult, crying. She didn't know how to smile. She didn't know. What do you mean, th th doesn't know how to smile? She, when we asked her, please smile, she goes, I've never smiled. I haven't smiled in years. She was a denture wearer. She had teeth on the bottom that were broken. And she felt, she said, I just want to be able to smile for my wedding. So she wanted to look great for her son and for her husband at her wedding. All right. And uh, I tell you, as we, we follow the transformations with pictures, because we take pictures all the time. And I can tell you that from the day she started to the day we finished, her hair was better. She lost weight. She, she had a twinkle in her eye. <laughs> just because something had changed. I can tell you, fast forward six months, she got a brand new job. She's happily married. She got a huge increase in pay in her, uh, in her salary. And it was just, we didn't plan it, but it just naturally happened. So like the self-confidence goes Oh up. my God. It can't a, just be because of the The swagger, I can tell you the <laughs> okay. swagger changed. All right. And it happens over and over and over. I'm gonna give you another story. I had a patient come in, young guy. He literally came in, I think maybe he was 30, 35 years old. So when he spoke to me, he was so self-conscious about things, I couldn't even hear his voice. His hair was disheveled, his clothes were all over the place. He knew that his teeth were bad. He had broken teeth, he had uh, flare teeth, he had crooked teeth. And he's a young guy, he wants to date, he wants to be with girls, he wants to do what he needs to do. Mm -hmm. But he knew himself, it affected the way he spoke. He spoke with the lowest voice possible. We had to ask him to speak louder. I felt almost that I couldn't hear. And I can tell you, the day we changed his, we put in his new teeth, two weeks later, he came back for his post-op. He had a brand new haircut. His <laughs> hair was cut to the side. His friend who referred him said to me, he has three girlfriends now. <laughs> the guy is now going into nursing school. He's almost finished. He feels great about himself. And it was, it was truly unbelievable for me to be able to be part of that to change his life. So was this a guy like, for example, his teeth were so bad, they had to come out. He yes. would have definitely worn dentures. 
Definitely. And imagine for a 30 year old to have to wear dentures, it's debilitating. It's really, really sad. To be able to have to take your teeth out at night, it's embarrassing, no matter what age you are. Imagine that at night you go out on a date with somebody, you know, people are on the internet, they're on match.com, and you can have the gorgeous picture, you can have a gorgeous smile, or you can uh, smile with your lips closed, but there's one hidden smile, that, one hidden secret that you, don't, that you have that nobody will ever know. You may have to take your teeth out at night, but imagine that that night you can go out to dinner with your date, eat whatever you want, order whatever you want, and then at night you don't have to take your teeth out and put them in a cup. How, how amazing is that going to make you feel? It's going to change you. It's finally, denture wearers worry about their teeth. It's something that's part of their lives. They're always worrying. Me and you, or people that have implants, yeah, or yeah. people that have teeth, they don't worry about it. They worry about other things you in life. You don't think about it. You don't think about it. But imagine when you take that burden off of them to say, you don't need to worry about it. We're going to give you teeth that possibly will, li will last a lifetime for yourself. You take care of them, they'll be there. Be able to smile, be able to eat whatever you want. You'll be able to feel the way you were when you were 18 years old and you had healthy teeth. Now, do you, how soon can they eat? Okay, so on the day of the procedure, you, you give them their, their, their fixed teeth that don't come in and out, full arch of teeth, how soon can they eat? So um, we tell them that the day that they get their teeth, on their first day in terms of their implant surgery, um, they have to, it's purely smile. It's to rebuild their confidence. They're going out, they're smiling, they're feeling great about themselves. They're not to eat. Okay, but because of our, proce our procedure that we do, that we, um, the, our proprietary procedure that we created, we can get a patient in their permanent teeth as fast as six weeks. Okay. In six weeks, they'll be able to chew and eat whatever they want. Nobody does it like us. We use stem cells. We use specific uh, techniques that we do to be able to increase healing. We use digital technology to be able to design these things much quicker to be able to give them things that fit perfectly. We, don't, we used uh, cameras instead of goop. You know, people hate that goop in their mouth. So a camera measures inside their yeah. mouth? Yeah, so we Is use a right? camera to measure the inside of their mouth. We use a camera to scan their face so that we know the way their smile should be. So I just want to back up to clarify what I said about the six weeks. The day of their surgery, they will never walk out without teeth. They'll have beautiful, gorgeous teeth. And that will be their blueprint to be able to see what they want, to make sure that it looks exactly what they want. They like can they're test, trying it in for They're test driving it, okay. right? right? And they can do whatever they want. We can change the color. We can change the length. We can change anything for them. For six, so for six weeks, they try out, they smile. They go to speak to their friends. They go to their family to say, do you like my beautiful new smile, right? If they feel like they Do they ever to, say, I want these? I don't want the other ones. Most of the time, they love the ones I put in. Okay. They okay. never change their minds. And then six weeks later... We will go ahead and we're going to make them their, their brand new restoration that's permanent, that's fixed. We usually tell them the day they come in, make a reservation for, for a restaurant because you're going to go have that steak you've been dying So they have. can eat that night after that the night. procedure? Like they have to be careful? If they come in the morning, they can have lunch. I mean, do they have to be careful? No, they can eat whatever they want. Could you buy it like, like a, let's say, a, a raw carrot with your front teeth? Yeah, you typically can because of the material that we use today. Um, you know, some offices, they may go ahead and make you a screwed indenture that's made out of plastic, that's picked out of a box where every tooth is exactly the same. In our practice, we make them out of zirconia. Think of it as a white metal. That's how strong it is. They have the ability to literally take a hammer. I once had, I'll give you a story. I, had a pa <laughs> I wanted to tell you okay. a story. I had a patient. Okay, she, um, it was really sad. She's such a wonderful person. We did full implants on her. Okay, full upper implants, full lower implants. And it was sad. It was, uh, I live in New Jersey. It always uh, snows. And she fell down her, her front steps. She cracked her hip. She didn't touch her teeth. She fell on her face. She broke her nose. Her teeth did not move. Nothing happened to them. These things are stronger than your bones. Is there, so how, and, and maintenance? Okay, you take somebody with broken down teeth. Sometimes they have to be extracted. You give them teeth the same day? as well yeah so we love to be able to do that because one of our philosophies are is that we want to be able to recreate nature we don't want to give a patient a denture again we want to give them the most natural way so the, our proprietary procedure is that we recreate what they had that was beautiful when they were younger all right and then we have the ability to screw these things in or cement these things in so that they look beautiful and they can do whatever they really need to do so i know one you know a dentist actually was on my show that went to one of your courses is that why they go to learn this you know fixed set of teeth that don't come out instead yeah. of the snap in snap out yeah they want to learn a way to be able to give to their patient something that's predictable that costs less for them and at the same time they could pass the savings on to the patients because here's what happens typically around the world is that only the rich get permanent teeth only the high end get the permanent teeth 
but we're the dentist to the people. We have the ability to give people what they want. So you can do high-end teeth. At a cost that's affordable for patients. We have so many options for them based on what they need and what they want. And that's why we believe that fixed teeth are the way to go. Because when you have fixed teeth, you have less complications. You have less, less things that you need to do. I'll give it, let me give you a story. I had a All patient right. come in. Um, she came in. She, uh, I saw her um, uh, eight years ago. I gave her an upper denture. Okay, she had an upper denture, she was happy with her upper denture, she comes back to me eight years later, her lower teeth are now gone. We know that a lower denture is not the same as an upper denture, it's actually very, very bad. She's super young, she's like 37 years old. Oh my goodness. Right, and she doesn't have a lot of money. So we needed to create something specifically for her. So we needed to be able to do to something for her that will, she'll be able to afford it. She's 35 years old and she doesn't have to take her teeth out, her lower teeth out and not be able to eat ever again. So we created this flow where we were able to place her implants. She never left the same day she left with permanent teeth so that it wouldn't be a big deal for her. Six weeks later, we gave her, uh, we took out her uh, temporary teeth and we gave her her permanent zirconia teeth in one piece that are basically unbreakable. And these look like veneers? I mean, they look like, or just real teeth? So we look like, they look, we don't want them to look like veneers because veneers look, look fake. We want people to say to you, wow, you have a gorgeous smile. Okay. Not, wow, you have gorgeous veneers. We want people to say, something, something changed, I'm not sure, but you look great, you look rested, you're smiling better. Because you know, smiling is the new currency. So one of the things that we love to do is after we insert the final teeth, the patient didn't see, uh, patient, our patients don't see it yet. So we love to has, see their reactions. And we've done these cases over and over and over again. And every reaction is exactly the same. Some people cry, some people smile, some people give thumbs up, but every single one of them go like this. <sighs> because they had such a load on them. They were worrying so much about it. It's been taking over their lives for years. You know, some people, they think about getting this done, but they I've had patients say to me, I drove by your office for the past two years. I've picked up the phone and hung up because I was scared. Wow. But finally, they're like, I wish I had the courage to do this so long ago because I'm so happy. Because it's really life-changing. That's what we do, we change lives. Yeah, but w what about those people that have really bad gums, like, like gum disease, where it's bleeding, loose teeth, are their gums too bad to do this? Yeah, I mean, the, the, the implants will stay in there? Yeah, this is, it's funny you say that, Randy. That, that's my typical patient. I have a patient who's been going to the dentist or has been afraid to go to the dentist. Their teeth are loose, their teeth are broken, they've had dentistry that breaks down, and they're at their wit's end. They need a solution. The last thing you want to say to them is, hey, I'm going to pull all your teeth, here's a denture, get out of here. It's, it's, it's debilitating to them. You would never want to be, we don't want to be part of that. We want to be able to give patients better than where they're started. Today, in dentistry, we're the only profession where we have the ability to do a procedure on a patient and not only get them uh, to where they were, but better than where they started. And that's amazing that we have the ability to do that. Most doctors just get you okay. They let you guess you buy. They give you a medication, you do what you need to do. But with dental implants, I can make you better than when you started. When you come in, you're going to be better than where you were. And that's unbelievable. So if somebody's watching this and they've got a mouthful of teeth that are just, uh, I guess, failing or, or just you know, falling out, I guess. How soon, if everything works out right, how soon, what's the turnaround time to get this full arch of teeth, upper and lower, that don't come in and out? Supported by dental implants. Yeah, so come in for a consult. We discuss what your needs and what your wants are. Schedule your surgery. That day you walk out with a brand new smile. Exactly. You, people cannot believe it. Are they skeptical? They are so skeptical. But they, they, when, they look, when they're sitting in the chair and we give them that mirror, they look at me and they say, <laughs> you were right. And it gives them the biggest smile. Because they literally, within, it's like a total flip, like Jekyll and Hyde but they become an unbelievable person. They get this swagger, they, all of a sudden they care about everything around them, what their hair looks like, what their clothes look like, what their smile looks like. All of a sudden they become the best dental patients. And they, because they love, they, they can actually say they love coming what to the dentist. What about pain? I, I mean, it seems really painful to do this. Like what do the patients say, I should say? So I can tell you that during the procedure, there's no pain at all. For the patients that are- Are they sedated? So yeah, so there's the option. We have a board certified anesthesiologist that can be brought in. We brought, bring them in totally safe. We put the patient to sleep, they go to sleep, they wake up, they have a brand, brand new smile. Patients that don't wanna to go to sleep, that's totally fine. We encourage that. We get them uh, numb and they don't feel anything during the procedure. Implants do not hurt. It just doesn't hurt. Teeth hurt, but implants don't hurt. 
So it's actually very, very easy, especially if you're a denture wearer. It's a piece of cake. We use computer-guided surgery, where we'll do your surgery before you're even there on the computer. You could come in, we could finish your surgery in under two hours. So, so, it might be, so we don't have to put disclaimers, because you know uh, we're airing this on TV all over the country, that the, 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 there might be discomfort, right? A little bit of soreness in the gums. Is Absolutely. the gums what are sore the most? Yeah, I mean, they're going to be a little bit sore, but I would say maybe three days. After three days, they'll feel and, great. And what are they taking at home? You give them some uh, pain Advil, meds? Ibuprofen. Just Advil. Yeah. Some of them even actually, I call them uh, that night to see where they are for a post-op. Like, let's say I do the surgery at 9 o'clock. I call them at 3 o'clock. They're, they're like, oh, I'm at the mall. So they're fine. They're totally fine. Everybody reacts differently, but overall, I would say most of the people are fine. They do really well. Now, people with really bad teeth, right, which uh, that's why they go to you. Like you say, you're the last resort. They don't know their options. You say they can be discriminated against, judged. Yeah, so when uh, somebody looks at them, you know, we've, we, it's funny that you said judged. I had a judge who was my patient, right? It has nothing to do with the amount of money that you have. It has to do with, most of the time, it's fear and trust. Because with people with bad teeth, you think maybe they don't have money. But like you say, that's not the truth. That's not the truth. It's really they can't find the right person to help them. They've, they've searched, and they've come to the point where they've just given up, and then it just spirals out of control to where they just they're looking for they they restart their search to find somebody so yeah dude are they discriminated around? absolutely because all of a sudden you look at their teeth and you think this person is lives in the street this person doesn't care about his teeth but let me tell you something most of the people that have bad teeth they've cared about their teeth they've gone to the dentist but so then everything let them we're down. talking about is teeth that are fixed in there if i have the ability to give my patients a ferrari at the cost of a toyota why would I give them something that's not better? If I know that I can do it for them, they can afford it, and it's gonna change their lives, and it's gonna make them supremely better than where they are when they started, why not? A snap-in, snap-out denture is great, and it's okay, it's a great option for people, but for me, I would never wanna have to take my teeth out to clean them. I would never have to worry about them popping out. I wanna be free of maintenance. You know, the people that have permanent teeth, they still come, they have their teeth cleaned, but so they're back in the, in, in the system. They're they back in get... the system because then the snap in, snap out, it's made out of plastic. It can still break, and then they have to start again, right? It's possible that they get food stuck under there and the implants may get infected. It's a problem. But the permanent teeth stabilizes everything. It allows you to be able to just take care of yourself better. It gets you out of the denture mindset. You don't wear a denture. Just because you wear a denture and it has implants doesn't mean you have teeth. When you have permanent teeth, you don't think of it as implants. You think of it as, I have teeth. I'm back to where I want to be. Could they eat like popcorn or nuts or chewy things like a pizza? Yeah, I love pizza. So it pizza. doesn't matter. Pizza's great. So they can eat whatever they want. Yeah, they can eat whatever they want. They just have to eat normally. So you don't want them They're chewing They're just so excited they, they, they chew so quickly. They have to just chew normally and everything works out. I told you, it's like a white metal. Imagine I give you metal as teeth. So they look like porcelains. I mean, they're they, they, they look. You cannot tell that they're they're not real. So this is so it's kind of like a smile makeover too. Absolutely, we treat everything like a smile makeover. So like women will have a little bit different look than the men. Yeah. So we really customize it. One of the things we love to do is we tell them, bring us a picture when you were twenty. They bring us our uh, their their wedding photo. We look at it and we duplicate it because that's what they're, they're. You can do that. Absolutely. We have digital technology. We can take a picture and import it, and we lay the teeth right over. We can change anything today. So yeah, so we had a patient, uh, she used to be an actress, right? She brought us a picture of the way she used to look like, gorgeous, gorgeous lady. She was about 75, 77 years old. And she said, I want to look the way that I looked when I was 25 years old. So I said, no problem, you're a, mo you are a model, you are an actress, bring me the picture. And we had the ability to take that picture, we created a digital technology, we brought it in, and we gave her the smile that she had when she was 25. She was so, she's like, oh my God. Like, and she's an actress, she loves to talk, and she, it like gave her life again. It was amazing, she comes to my office, I can't work on her, she just talks all the time, because <laughs> she's just so happy, she's, she's like, it changed her life. Now, just as a recap again, because we're out of time, probably a minute left, but somebody that, they have teeth that are just loose, they're falling out, from extractions to fixed teeth, how soon? What's the turnaround time on that? Yeah, so they would come in, the same day of their surgery, we would pull their teeth, we wouldn't even have to make any incisions, through the same holes where their teeth were, we go ahead and we place the implants really, really quickly, and that day they walk out with brand new permanent teeth. Is that right? Eight to 12 weeks later, depending on the, where they are, six to 12 actually, depending on the bottom or the top, they go ahead and we now duplicate their temporary that they loved, 
and we make them permanent teeth zirconia that they look that they look gorgeous. Those are the cases that the patients look unbelievable because their architecture is there. We just have to take from disease to healthy. It's like a third set of teeth. Now, when you're on a consult and they give you a hard luck story because these people have really bad teeth, bad experiences, do you ever get excited where you're going, this is going to be good? Oh my God. When I see the, one of the things we do is we take a before picture and we put it up on the screen. And when I see it, I get so excited because I, I can now actually see the future. I know exactly what I'm going to do and what it's going to look like because I've done it so many times. And that's the thing. People need to be, we try to show that to people to say, we've done so many cases just like yours. Here's the pictures. And it just lights them up. It gives them a sense of hope. It's, they're inspired to say like, wow, I've come to the right place. People are here to help me, finally. I've been looking for this. Now, now what about the guys? Because you were saying guys put it off. And like Women are more proactive at this, but, but men put it off. They're in, they just want to be out of pain. And you, you said that the guys, all they want to be is out of pain. They don't care how it looks, but they end up liking how it looks yeah, More they than love it. Eating. Yeah, so that, so what happens is that they're they were so full when they had uh, dentures or when they had broken teeth, what they they knew that it never looked good, so they were focused on getting them to be able to eat correctly. Once we give them the eat function, all of a sudden they're like, well, I don't have to worry about eating. Let me worry about what they look like now, and they become like they're they're one of our best patients because they love to talk, and I practice in New Jersey. They're they they just feel guys they just feel great about themselves and women also you know women are have the ability to all of a sudden say wow i can now go on a date wow i can now smile now they're doing selfies on facebook now they're doing all that stuff but all i, I tell you what the biggest thing is for denture wearers is sometimes their husband doesn't even know that they wear den- that really? they wear dentures yeah and they've set up the consult when they're done when their husband is on vacation and they say how fast can i get this done before my husband comes back so it's, and that's it's, happened before oh my god it happens all the time it's unbelievable. Well, the husband must come back and say, what the heck is going on here? Well, we just if she likes the way her dentures look, we just make them impermanent. All so right. he'll never know. But she doesn't have to take him out at night when he's sleeping. So it's, it's, it's that easy. We are out of time. Okay, so we should mention you teach this, this to other dentists. You teach at the university uh, implant dentistry. Uh, also, you, you, you have the technology where you do it all right there. I mean, you even, well, it's like a lab, your own lab. You make the teeth right there. I have like a CNC machine that cuts everything. And then you pass the savings on. To the patient. To the person. Um, insurance. We should mention this because we get emails about this. Medical insurance, even the best, doesn't cover the whole process. Medicare, Medicaid financing. definitely doesn't cover it. Listen, yes, it doesn't cover it. But you know what we have? We have financing. We have the ability to make it financially available for patients with monthly payments. We have no interest. We have long, long-term long payments to help people out. If they have good enough credit, pretty good credit, they'll get approved. How which, often do you finance these type of procedures? I could say 90 to 99% of the time, we are always financing it because we want to help Even people. Even people with money are financing Yeah, absolutely. Why not? Yeah. Okay. I'll help them out to make it easy for them and make it less of a burden. All they have to worry about is, when is my appointment and when am I going to get my gorgeous smile? That's all they worry about. <laughs> we take care of everything else for them. Okay, good. I want to thank you for coming on the show. Thank if you. they want to learn more, they go to your website Do they get, and they get to see you on the consult? Yeah, absolutely. Only me. I'm okay. the doctor. All right. I want to thank you. And, and you go by Dr. Jonathan. Dr. Jonathan. All right. I want to thank you for coming on the show. Thank good you so job. much, Randy. You've been watching The Wellness Hour. I'm Randy Alvarez for now. I wish you could help. Thanks for watching The Wellness Hour, the leader in medical news with your host, Randy Alvarez, the authority on health issues. 